Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Edge and Olive. So C is a true double hand chainer and finisher. So let's compare her to Gabria and Aldor King Raid. And I must say her stats is pretty amazing, especially her attack boost because like you can see it on the screen, she can get up to 240% attack. So you only need to give her 160% which is probably easy for a gun users because there are so many equipment which have innate attack boost and her defensive stats are not extraordinary but I must say they are pretty acceptable and if you manage to max her attack boost you can give her health spirit or defense boost for her to make her tanky other than that, she has this 50% decreased chance of being targeted which make her really good against single target attack and 20% physical evasion. It is not big but definitely nice thing to have. For ailments, she has paralyzed, confused, disease and petrify and stop. Good but remember, she is still vulnerable against sleep. As an extra, she also has 50% demon and machine killer which make her really useful against scorn of Igaian and many many upcoming future trials because many of them are demon type okay so enough about her passive she has this out cannon fire mortar shot but i think it's kind of gimmicky because it happens only once 16 times damage not attainable so let's just forget about it now let's talk about her abilities the special thing about her is she able to become both chainer and finisher for chaining she can use i mean chain with stardust ray and bolting strike the strongest bolting strike move is this one cannon fire scattering shot so it deals 16 times damage without passive or damage modifier boost on the maximum you can deal 28 times which is amazing because you can only you only need to use this cannon fire by your weapon and 28 times damage constantly on every turn and it is amazing because on yesterday i just made Vesalis review video Vesalis is newer than agent olive but the damage per cast is about the same 28 times damage so yeah good job agent olive you are not power creep within two weeks and for stardust ray let's just forget about it it deals quite nice damage 14 times damage but it is still below bolting strike so if you want to use her as a chainer use bolting strike not stardust ray and she also can become a finisher no i'm not talking about magnus ability i'm talking about this cannon fire this deal 18 times damage but with dam damage modifier boost from her passive and abilities this skill gonna deal 26 times per cast whoa that's pretty high because remember you can triple cast this and yes she also able to imbue herself with fire and dark element which is really important for true double hand character because you can only equip one weapon and as an extra she also has this 75 percent machine and demon killer so in total she has 125 percent combined with your asper wow she will deal tons of damage against machine and demon very insane and the best part about her is i know you know it is this black out this is insanely insane guys because like you can see here it deals 150 times damage it is higher than cartoon frenzy rampage and it is a finisher ability so yes you can input this easily on your chaining process and with this 120 percent in peril you gonna deal 330 times damage on that turn that's not counting the passive killer if you fight machine or demon wow wow pretty damn 
amazing. Remember that she also able to break enemy defense 70%. So yeah, she is kind of self-sufficient. And her triple cast, Rapid Blast, is kind of, yeah, a fable, always a fable every time. And this 65% stop to all enemies gonna make her really good on the arena battle unless the enemy have healer which resist against stop but let's just give up if you fight that let's just not waste a time the bad things is her imperil is not spammable this only usable once and only for one turn and this is the only other imperil she has 100% fire and dark but it only lasts for three turns while the cooldown is seven turns so you probably need to search for other sources for imperil so i think that's all you need to know about her abilities i must say that her limit burst is not special it is basically a tool to unlock her triple cast okay the extra damage is nice but again like i said it is not chainable so i must say 20 times damage without proper chaining is kind of low on today's standard okay so enough about her abilities now let's talk about equipment for equipment it may be a little bit easy because she equipped two-handed gun we yeah we have lots of two-handed gun we have from dressy island and nameless gunner jake he's old character so many veteran players probably already have his stmr okay and but the best is probably the blocks the black sparky okay so yeah it is good because it has high attack but yeah the lb damage boost may be not that useful because i don't think she is that great lb finishers but yeah it will be nice for her for the rest yeah simply focus on the attack boost so if you have black sparky you already get 50 percent attack power amplifier Jensen Transcode. If you have this piece of equipment, then you probably already reach maximum attack stats on this game, 400%. So that means you can equip her with other survivability things on her ability. You can give her Spirit Boost, I mean Serena STMR, which give her Fatal Damage Protection, and other things, okay? So basically, See, it's really easy to gear even for newbie. That's one big plus for her. So enough about equipment. My conclusion, she is really great DPS character. But really, if you ask me, then yeah, she's great. I don't say she is bad, okay? But yeah, she's just another DPS you are gonna forget because her damage is not that great compared to the recent meta. It's good if you get her, but again, if you already have Cartin or other top tier DPS, especially, be I believe you have pulled for Aldor King Rain, okay? Because, yeah, there are so many hypes when he was released, then I don't see any reason to pull for Agent Olive if you have Aldor King Rain. And yes, he has insane burst damage, okay? She, she deals insane damage, but once you have used magnus ability and the enemies doesn't that it's not that okay i know it's so stupid because you should use that blackout to kill your enemy okay but let's just say the enemy still alive that mean other king rain will be better because you can still use his abilities throughout the battle and yes it's also very flexible can become finisher and chainer but i think you need to have a efficient party so for example i will give you a good party example if you use agent olive is to have someone who can break and chain with voting strike at the same time and like you can guess they are sukiko Krila. those two are really good because yes maybe the damage are not top tier especially for Krila, but 
they're they are really versatile i mean they are good breaker so really really slot efficient and for using blackout i think you should use other roles for this example i use sick heart and sacred shield charlotte remember that they can chain our railway moves and because agent olive is through the blind character she doesn't need high chaining number because she cannot reach plus six time chain damage modifier so that blackout will be good combination with sick heart and secret shield charlotte and the rest you can use healer and buffer but if you want to be more aggressive then you can use Cartin or Eric as her chaining partner because those two are really good bolting strike chainer and especially Cartin guys because Cartin element is also dark so good pair but you need to search for other source of breaker so for compared to Godria, Godria is still better chainer because she can chain with many families and her quadcast is available more easily yeah, actually agent olive doesn't have quadcast but the thing here is godria is more flexible three elements extra support buff and recovery and yes not complicated okay so i think that's all you need to know about agent olive really really top tier dps characters but i don't think i need it okay but congratulations if you have her so yep, thank you very much for watching, press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Perhaps VS Guide. Bye bye guys!